back. It's day 13 of Christmas time. I got a special guest for you guys today. Bob the Lumberjacker. Hello everybody. I'm Bob. <laughs> and I'm here just to talk about a couple of Christmas traditions that I do with my family. Um, one that's actually kind of in the past. Uh, it's just the general going to grandmom's house for, for dinner. But it just kind of sticks out because everybody had their special dish they made. We had sweet potatoes that grandma made and sauerkraut and kielbasa that my aunt made. And then we had the turkey and the pies and it was always a good time. And then um, the second one that I've had in between then and now is uh, my mom and I. <laughs> it's kind of funny, but uh, we always like to drink eggnog out of wine glasses with nutmeg on top. The wine glasses are definitely the key because they make it taste better. Is that uh, spiked or unspiked? Unspiked. Okay. Just regular, just regular eggnog with nutmeg on it. <laughs> <laughs> and then the last one that I've come to do most recently is that my wife and I got married on the 8th of December. So on the 8th, we try to put our Christmas tree up and decorate it on our anniversary. That's well, the Christmas traditions I've had over the years. Happy belated anniversary. Thank you. <laughs> Merry Christmas. I've never tried chocolate milk and eggnog yet. Chocolate milk and eggnog? Yeah. I have not, but that sounds divine. It is. <laughs> I'm going to have to go. I'm going to have to buy some on my way home just to yeah. try that. Oh my goodness. Well, there's, if you want to make a quick stop, it's you can always go to Highs and Baldwin. They have okay. eggnog and chocolate milk. All right. Man. Yeah. I never thought to mix those <laughs> together. That has to be amazing. <laughs> <laughs> and I'll have to work out for like five hours afterwards, but that's okay. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's it for today. I'll see you guys next time. <laughs>